Hey guys, it's Bob Sandwich here with another episode of Loadout Overview. Before I get started, I'd like to thank Gaddy for that sweet intro, which will be in all of my videos from this point forward. Anyway, so I've been playing Soldier here on Nucleus with a Beggar's Bazooka, Conjurer, and Escape Plan. It's actually my favorite loadout, and you're about to see why. And I take out that heavy right there. Um, so yeah, each rocket deals about 100 damage, and heavy sells 300, so it should take him out. So you're about you're able to load three rockets um, and release them all not at once but in succession but it's pretty fast about 70% faster than a regular rocket launcher. Um, there is a 3% random deviation though, so this does change your playstyle quite a bit um, because you're not going to be able to hit things at long range, but you're going to be extremely effective at short range, like right here. Yep, taking out two classes right there and. After loading up the third rocket, you will start damaging yourself quite a bit. Um, you can start. You can use this for rocket jumping, but I don't really use it for that. Um, mainly because I'm not super good at rocket jumping just yet. Um, also, you're not going to be able to get any ammo from dispensers, as well as dispensers from the carts. Uh, it's not something you have to take too much into consideration on King of the Hill maps, because I don't seem to see a lot of dispensers go up. Um, Except for maybe Lakeside, but that's about it. Um, however, I should point out that you are able to get health from those dispensers in case they're there. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to be using also this cape plan, like I said. And it gives you an increase with your speed as you take damage. Um, as usual, all of the information is not on the item description. And that speed actually exponentially increases as you take um, damage, specifically every 40 damage. At 160, that's 10% extra speed. At 120, that's 20% extra speed. At 80, that's 40%, which makes you faster than medics and pyros unless they're wielding, wielding sorry, the power jack. And at 40 health, you become as fast as the scout with 60% extra movement speed. It also blocks healing though, and you cannot call for a medic with it, so if you're on fire, and there's a medic nearby. Oh, side note here. Um, you can rocket jump with the Beggar's Bazooka, but it's a bit different um, from regular rocket jumps. So it has a bit of a learning curve. Like I said, I still haven't properly learned how to rocket jump with the Beggar's Bazooka. Anyway, going back to the escape plan, you also take mini crits when you have it out, as well as 2-3 to three seconds after you change weapons. So do take this in con into consideration when trying to run, when thinking about running away from somebody, or deciding to, you know what, I'm just gonna use the beggar's bazooka, take you out, take myself out at the same time. Um, also, remember, don't run in a straight line because just one hit scan shot, you're probably gonna die if you're already running away from that point anyway. So for my secondary, I'm using the conjurer. It's really, really useful in this situation um, because it gives you. I mean, okay, yeah, I fail at using it right there, but the plus two extra health is really, really useful. And you're gonna see how useful it is right here. I'm on fire, waiting for health back. I would be dead without the Conjurer right now. Without that plus two extra health per second, I'd be done. So anyway, moving on. Um, the Conjurer also has a special feature where if you deal 480 damage, you can activate it, which takes about 3 seconds to activate and lasts 10 seconds. Um, so you should, you know, be careful when you activate it. You want to make sure that, that, that those 10 seconds are going to be useful and that you will be safe during that 3 second duration. As you saw a while ago, I failed in properly activating it. Um, anyway, so when it's active, 30%, 35% sorry, of the damage that you and your teammates deal um, are returned to you in health. And with the Beggar's Bazooka, you are going to deal a lot of damage. So it's uh, extremely handy in a lot of situations. Um, you're going to see actually in this clip, starting right here, I think, um, just how useful it can be. Um, anyway, so it also gives you a 40% speed boost, which um, it differs from class to class. So I'm going to just include that information in the description below because it's just way too much information that to go over here. Um, an alternative secondary 
the one that I prefer anyway is the Righteous Bison. It really complements the... I'm sorry, makes up for the lack of long-range abilities of the Beggar's Bazooka. Um, oh, side note here, I'm about to pull out the Conjurer, and you're about to see how useful it can be. I'm dying, and I'm just gonna heal myself by dealing damage to the other team. Um, anyway, going back to Righteous Bison, it pretty much has a very solid damage from long, mid to long range, and it's just the great go-to secondary if you're um, compensating for that, because the shotgun's not going to help you there. Um, anyway, so, but this is my pretty much my favorite loadout um, for the soldier, like I said. It's just a really fun kind of loadout, and it it's kind of more in your face than the regular soldier, which I really like. Uh, so yeah, hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to like and share. Um, and hope to see you in the next video. Stay shiny.